Welcome to Batad, home to the UNESCO World Heritage Rice Terraces. From the village, you can always get a good view of the rice terraces. But if you would like to see this amphitheater view and the full picture of Batad, then you can trek to our view deck. It isn't an easy hike, so I hired a local tour guide, Kuya Jack. Apple, Blackie, and their mom, Brownie, also joined us. They are the tour guide dogs from Ramon's homestay. Rambo, the original Batad tour guide dog, joined us, but he went home when he realized our destination because he doesn't like the hanging bridge. There are holes on this hanging bridge so the dogs are careful for their paws not to slip into those holes. We let the dogs go first so the bridge wouldn't be too shaky for them. Brownie is the most patient of the tour guide dogs. I say that because she would always stop to wait on us. And there's Brownie again waiting on us as we rest by the spring water. Locals drink from this spring water, which I also tried and my tummy was fine with it. We finally reached the viewing deck after more than 3 hours. It rained the night before so we were careful of the slippery trails. And I'm sorry but my camera doesn't give justice to the beauty that I saw. It was absolutely breathtaking, especially to think that all these were made by hand over 2,000 years ago. lunch here and shared our sandwiches with the dogs. The viewing deck is just a small shed but there was enough space for the five of us. I find going down more difficult because you really have to be careful. I also didn't have proper warm-up so we were resting when we, whenever we can and the dogs would patiently wait on us. It was a full day hike. We started before 8am and arrived at Ramon's homestay just before 4 p.m. I was given this passion fruit fresh from the homestay's backyard as reward. If you would like more details about this day, you can check out my website, wondering.com. Thank you for watching.